Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So last time we have seen the uh, how to assign the RS configuration to a molecule. Okay. Again I just repeat before I go into solving some problems that in the RS system what you have to do that you have to place yourself in such a way that you look at the stereogenic carbon and so that the fourth the group of the least priority is away from the observer and then you see what is the sequence if you go from 1 to 2 to 3. If it is clockwise direction then that is called R configuration, if it is in the anti clockwise direction 1 to 2 to 3 then that is called S configuration. Okay. Now, let us do practice few problems one or two problems before we go into the next topic. But suppose the molecule is written in a Fisher projection formula say this is CO 2 H, this is CH 2 O H and this is H, sorry this is H and this is M methyl and you are asked to assign the absolute configuration or the R S configuration of this. Okay. So, when uh, you are trying to solve this problem, the first thing you need to do is to assign the priority sequence of the groups. Okay. So, if you do the priority sequence, this is the first atom, the carbon, this is also carbon. So, there is no distinction. Uh, let us see whether there is any distinction between this and that. You can find the distinction because this carbon is attached to only one oxygen. So, that means, this carbon is having hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. This carbon is having this is remember this is C double bond O and O H. So, this carbon is having 3 oxygens basically because C double bond O means you have to add one more oxygen to the carbon. So, 3 oxygens. So, that and this is methyl only 3 hydrogens and this is only hydrogen. So, assigning the priority is becomes little easier now because the difference you find in the first atom that is attached to the stereogenic center. So, this is number 1, this is number 2, this is number 3 and this is number 4. Now, some books you will find that they are written like A, B, C, D that is also permissible. So, then you have to say that going from A to B to C what is the directionality. Okay. So, then after assigning the priority sequence you write in a simpler form do not write the groups just say that number 1 group is here, number 2 is here, number 3 is here, number 4 is here okay. and now see what try to find out that what is the configuration. Now, here the, there is a slight problem because in Fisher projection you know if you convert it into the wedge formula then these two horizontal bonds are beta and the vertical bonds are alpha. That means, this is number 1, this is number 2, this is number 3, this is number 4. So, if I am looking from here that means, we are the observer from in this side. So, I am actually looking from the side of the fourth group, but in order to assign the R s configuration, I have to look away from the side of the group number 4. Now, how to deal with this situation? Now, it is up to you what you want to do. There are different ways people can direct uh, assign the RS configuration. Some people do like this that you know that exchange in a group of 3 is allowed. So, what you need is to bring the fourth group either in the horizon in, the, uh, in one of the vertical positions by exchange in a group of 3. So, if you do that bring 4 here, 3 there and 2 there. So, that 
if you do that, you do not change the molecule, because that is according to the rule of Fischer projection that is allowed. So, you do that and this becomes 4, that becomes 3 and that becomes 2. So, it is the same molecule, but now the beauty is that the fourth group is in the alpha position. So, if that is in the alpha position, that means what you see is, so if you convert it again into the wedge formula, you will see that it is in the right perspective that the fourth group is away from you. So, if the fourth group is away from you, then what you see from the top from here is 1 to 2 to 3, the direction is the actual direction that you should, uh, you should uh, is the direction that uh, gives the correct, correct configuration or to, to tell, tell in another way that now if you see from this side, the molecule is held in the correct formula where the fourth group is away from you. It is alpha that means it is away from you. So, now what is the configuration of this system 1 to 2 to 3. So, that means it is in the anti clockwise sense. So, this is the S configuration. So, the result is that this molecule that was drawn to was in the S configuration. Okay. Some people avoid this exchange. Now, this is what is called, uh, this is the original one which is called the very good rule. That means, what you do that if the fourth group is not in uh, occupying the what is uh, the vertical position, you bring it in the vertical position and then whatever you see that gives you the R or S configuration. Okay. The other way to do it is that do not do any changes, just whatever is there you just keep it there. So, basically this was our structure. The fourth group is now occupying a direction which is towards the observer. Now, remember that the very simple thing is that if I rotate, if I see a rotation, if I see the say clock, the clock rotates in the clockwise direction, that is where the name has originated, okay, the clockwise sense. But if I look, if I could have looked the clock from the back side of the clock, then what I will see that the clock is moving in the the hands of the clock are moving in the anti clockwise direction. That means, if I see the molecule where the fourth group is away from me, if the direction 1 to 2 to 3 is clockwise, then if the fourth group is towards me, that clockwise will become anti clockwise. Like if there is a fan rotating in, 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 in the ceiling. And if you see from the bottom, the fan is rotating in a clockwise direction. If somebody looks from the floor to the same fan to him or her it will appear anti clockwise. So, if you remember that then there is no problem your fourth group is here towards the observer. Now, the 1 to 2 to 3 is in the clockwise direction, but you remember that basically the fourth group is in the is towards you. So, whatever you see you actually reverse the reverse the direction. So, basically 1 to 2 to 3 is in the clockwise sense, but since, but you have to write this when you write an answer, since fourth group is occupying horizontal position. So, actual, actually the configuration should be S. So, whatever it appears, you just reverse it. Okay. So, it is up to you what you want to do. Uh, if you want to bring the fourth group in the vertical position, you do that. Otherwise, you can keep it in the horizontal position, but then remember whatever you see keeping at the horizontal position, we have to reverse the direction. Okay. So, that is uh, the R s, we can actually do more problems, but I think the uh, uh, some other cases I can tell you where you might face some problem is 
we'll we'll go to this section later on but you know what is the molecule cyclohexane okay the cyclohexane is the planar for uh, it's the we write it in the planar form but actually this exists in the in mostly in the chair form okay mostly in the chair form and suppose there are two groups here there is a methyl there is a weight and suppose there is a methyl here now this molecule has two stereogenic centers one is here another is there and if i ask now to do the absolute configuration of this carbon absolute configuration of this carbon so what you do first try to assign the priority this carbon is attached to weight so oxygen this is attached to carbon this is attached to carbon this is attached to carbon so this must be your number 1 and what is the number 2 number 2 is this is the carbon ch2 this is also ch2 so there is no difference here but then the next carbon going from this side is a carbon attached to two carbons here this carbon is attached to only one carbon so this gets preference that means this is your number 2 that is your number 3 and this is your number 4 so now how to assign the configuration now again if you are a very good uh, if you have good concept about three dimensional structures because you have to look from this side and then see what is the direction going on 1 2 2 2 3 okay you can do that those who can see it visually very clearly they can tell what is this direction 1 2 2 2 3 but i can give you some what are called mnemonic devices mnemonic devices means some simple way of doing this those who cannot visualize very well a three dimensional structure for them this rule you can apply this is a mnemonic this is not a rule this is uh, this is just for the sake of these are called mnemonic device so that you do not have to think much but you can arrive at the right answer uh, without going into the complexity of the three dimensional structure so what is this mnemonic mnemonic device that what you do in cyclohexane when you write the chair form interestingly some angles appear bigger than the others although all our angles are 109 degree 28 minutes but some angles do look because this is a two dimensional perspective formula so some angles will look like smaller than the others okay so this one looks the the, the smallest amongst all these four angles so the mnemonic device says that you look into the system standing in between the bonds which makes which appears to make the smallest angle okay that means i am standing here see so if i stand here then what happens these two bonds are towards me and towards my right and left hand and this this uh, is a uh, sorry i'm sorry i am actually standing I am standing here in between this. Okay. So, this is my position and I, I this is my position of the two hands. Okay. Suppose, this is a person. Okay. Let us say, say these are the hands, these are the legs. Okay. So, this is the right hand, this is the left hand, this is the head and this is the leg. Okay. So, I look, I stand here this happened to be me I stand here and then I look at this carbon so if I do that what happens these two bonds are towards my hands and towards me and these two bonds are away from me and they are occupying the one is going towards my head and the other is going towards my leg okay so now you can easily draw the Fisher projection directly without drawing the the atoms better draw the priorities that you have already assigned so which one is the number number 2 will go towards my right hand number 3 will go towards my left hand number 4 will be at the top number 1 at the bottom okay so you stand the rule is that the mnemonic rule is that 
you stand in between the bonds which appear to make the smallest angle. But I again I repeat this is all the angles are 190 degree 28 minutes, but when you draw it in the fish in the two dimensional projection it appears that one angle is very small. So, now you stand in between spread your hands and it looks like just like the fissure projection and the way it should be in the fissure projection and you draw the fissure projection. So, on the right is 2, left is 3, 4 is at the top, 1 is at the bottom. Okay. Now, since 4 is occupying the horizontal uh, the vertical axis, so whatever you see that will be your configuration. So, it is anti clockwise that means, this is S configuration. So, if you want to do the configuration of this now, this carbon, this is the other carbon. So, according to that mnemonic rule through which you should see, this angle appears to be the smallest. So, you stand here and look from there. If you look from there, as I first assign the priority, this is the carbon, this is the carbon, there is no difference because this is C H 2 that is C H 2, but then you find a difference C H O H. So, this should be 1, that should be 2, that should be 3 and that should be 4. So, if you do that now you look from this side, it looks it is just the way it should be in the fissure projection. So, you write the fissure projection on the right side is 3, on the left side is 2, on the top side is 4, on the bottom side sorry uh, uh, 4 and on the bottom side is 1. Okay. Again 4 is occupying the vertical position, so you do not have to change anything because it is now away from the observer. So, whatever you see 1 to 2 to 3 is the correct correct uh, designation, so it is R you do not have to invert it. Okay. So, this is some of the tricky situations especially in cyclohexane system when it is written in this form or in the it the same thing will happen in if you draw it in the sawhorse also the same thing uh, sorry the if you if you try to draw it in the sawhorse formula the same thing will be applicable. So, what I say that you always see it in a fashion which gives the lowest angle. Okay. So, that is a kind of mnemonic eh? there is it is there is it's the hard and fast rule that you have to do it, but I think for beginner for students who are at the beginner stage for them this will be very helpful. Okay. Now, let us go away from this R s. So, we say that we will also do the relative configuration. Relative configuration again I say there are two types of relative configuration. One is that if you do not know the configuration absolute configuration of a molecule you try to correlate that means, you convert one molecule which is of known absolute configuration into your target molecule for which you are trying to determine the configuration. Then if you can convert that, then you say that okay, it has got this configuration because it is it has come from the original compound for which the configuration is known, but this is actually the relative configuration because there is no direct proof direct extra crystallographic proof for the configuration of the other molecule that I have explained earlier. Another type of relative configuration I said where there are multi stereogenic systems, then the relative configuration is, be, is basically the, the configuration configurational relationship between the two stereogenic centers. Like suppose one stereogenic center is R another is S. So, or this is R this is S this is R. So, that means, they have opposite configurations if that is the case then uh, the situation uh, becomes a case of relative configuration. That if I say that draw a tartaric acid where the two stereogenic centers have opposite configurations. Okay. So, this opposite configuration means that I am talking about the configuration of one in relation to the other. Okay. Again there are nomenclature systems for relative configuration and that started from again the carbohydrate you remember the DL nomenclature system started from the carbohydrate that Emil Fischer assumed that plus glucose in the D configuration and he said what is D the, the last 
stereogenic center if the OH is on the right then that will be called the deconfiguration. Okay. That is just an assumption fortunately when the x ray crystallography was done it was found that Fisher was right. So, whatever structures he had given for other aldohexoses other carbohydrates were all right, but if it were he was wrong then the literature had to correct all the structures what he had given him based on the configuration of plus glucose, but fortunately it was found later on by crystallography that Fisher was right in his assumption, but that is purely a coincidence. Okay. Now, this relative configuration there are different ways to to designate relative configurations. One is called 3 o erith erythro, 3 o 3 o erythro. So, what you then another is called like unlike, we will not uh, we will discuss only few there are many ways to describe uh, this uh, configurations relative configurations. What is the 3 o configuration? The 3 o configuration is that take this carbohydrate at uh, this sugar molecule. The sugar molecules are basically the polyhydroxy aldehydes. Okay. So, if you see that the these wage groups are opposite to each other in the Fisher projection formula, then that is called 3 o. Actually, this molecule is what is called 3 O's and the molecule where both the weights are on the same side that is called erythros that is called erythros and based on this if I draw a molecule which has got suppose this is H here, this is C H 3, this is C 2 H 5, this is O H here, this is H here, this is H here. This is not 3 O's or erythro, this is the different molecule, but because these O H is are on the opposite side. So, that will be called a 3 O molecule, 3 O and then I will pack nomenclature whatever this is actually 2, 2 3 dihydroxy pentane. So, 3 O 2 3 dihydroxy pentane 3 O 2 3 dihydroxy pentane. So, you can write the, but remember if I ask somebody to write the structure of 3 O 2 3 dihydroxy pentane, he has to write he or she has to write two compounds for this two structures for this and you cannot because the, this one is also 3 o both are 3 o because in both the cases which is are on the opposite side which is are on the opposite side. Okay. So, that is uh, this is 3 o. So, in the erythros both the weights are on the same side. So, again if I ask you to write erythro 2 3 dihydroxy paint then you have to write two compounds that is why this is called relative configuration. See it is not absolute you cannot absolutely tell which one is the compound that you are talking about. Okay. So, this is 3 o erythro there is another one which was uh, introduced by a Swiss uh, chemist his name is Sivak. Sivak give another way of uh, of giving a nomenclature relative nomen, uh, nomenclature for relative configuration. See the problem with this 3 o erythro is that if you do not have this which suppose you have some other group say this is chlorine and suppose this is C 3 H 7 then which one is 3 o which one is erythro that is a problem. So, unless you have heteroatoms like OHS or suppose two chlorines that is still ok, but this is mainly 3 erythro is mainly applicable for this OHS. So, if you do not have OHS uh, if you have alkyl groups all alkyl groups or other 
or other groups say chlorine, then another fluorine, then it is very difficult you cannot actually assign 3O erythro configuration to this system. So, 3O erythro is not a general, general nomenclature system for relative configuration. So, realizing that Sebak give uh, Sebak gave another another way to designate the relative configuration and what is that? Let us see, I go back to the original molecule. Suppose I have two molecules O H H. In the 3 O erythro system, this is the 3 O compound and this is the erythro compound because the two O H's are there. In Sebak system, what he says that you determine the R S configuration of this. R S configuration. So, what is the configuration of this carbon? So, this is 1, that is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. 4 is occupying the horizontal line. So, you have to be careful. So, what is the configuration here? 1, 2, 3. So, that means, this is actually S, although it looks like clockwise, but hydrogen is on the horizontal side. So, this is S. What is here? This is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. So, here again hydrogen is occupying the horizontal line. So, whatever you see you have to reverse it. So, 1, 2, 3 is clockwise, but actually it should be anti clockwise. So, this has got S S configuration. Okay. So, now he says that if the configurations of the two centers are similar like S S or R R, then that will be called like system. Okay. And if the configurations are different like R S or S R, then that is called unlike system. So, see you do not have to write all those 6 letters. So, you just write U is unlike U L and this you write only L like. So, instead of 3 erythro, now he says that do the absolute configuration. So, if I say that okay, write the structure of like, like that means L 2 3 dihydroxy pentane actually L k I think like is L k possibly unlike is U L then or write the full name. So, write the structure of like 2 3 dihydroxy pentane. So, that means, whatever I write this 2 3 dihydroxy should have R R or S S configuration. Earlier it was 3 erythro, now it is like unlike. Okay. I will clarify this whether what is the convention whether it is right L k or only L because L has this liver rotatory thing in mind. So, possibly this is L k and that is unlike that is U L. Okay that is unlike. So, this is the these are the uh, two nomenclature system for relative configuration. So, what is the difference between absolute and relative? Absolute means you write only one configuration one molecule in relative you have to write two systems means in multi stereogenic centers. Okay.